Hi. In this video, we are going to go through the process of producing 1099 forms in Financial Edge. To begin with, we will go to Accounts Payable, Mail, Forms, and highlight 1099 forms. From here, we can select an existing parameter or click New to create a new parameter. On the General tab, we need to select if we are creating 1099 NEC or 1099 miscellaneous forms. 1099 NEC and 1099 miscellaneous forms need to be processed separately. Once we've selected which form we will be producing, we will need to select the time period for which these forms will be produced. We can select to include activity below minimums. We can include vendors with no activity and we can also specify an alternate payer filer name. From there, we'll enter contact information and click display report. This will launch Atrix, our third party partner for generating tax forms. From here, we'll go through the company setup wizard to verify company information in preparation for displaying forms correctly. At each of these steps, you can click on the help icon for more information on the options or information requested. The 1099 test drive feature allows you to take a test drive of the 1099 process without actually saving any data. This will allow you to become more familiar with the process before actually filing. Once you're ready to begin the official processing, choose no thanks, start processing my 1099s. Next, we'll need to verify your tax identification number. This number comes from the federal ID number entered in Configuration General. If you have multiple databases for filing 1099s with the same federal EIN, you can select yes to using multiple 1099 data files for this EIN. Next, we'll verify payer information. The payer information screen displays all of the information that relates to the company and is used to display in the forms being reported. Next, you'll select which type of tax preparer you are. If any states have been defined in 1099 activity for the year, the state tax item will show here for verification. The tax account number listed here will pull from the state ID numbers defined in Configuration General. Next, if you have any recipients who elected to only receive 1099 forms electronically, you can select that here. Answering yes to this question will have the preparer verify recipient email addresses. And finally, the recipient identification number screen will ask how to display the recipient's identification numbers on the copies they receive. The next part of the process will bring us to our Atrix preparer grid. Here we will see a list of each of our recipients along with their information in the left panel, along with the corresponding 1099 amounts in the right panel. As we click next through the process, Atrix will verify the recipient information and 1099 box amounts. Changes can be made to the data directly within this grid and those changes will flow through to the 1099s. Changes made directly in this grid will not, however, change any data on the vendor or invoices directly in Financial Edge. To proceed through the grid, we will click Next. The data being verified in each step will be highlighted within the grid and stated above our progress bar. Information about the complete e-filing service offered by Atrix will appear. In this step, we will need to select our 1099 printing and filing options. You can choose between the complete e-filing service and other options. Within other options, you can select which filing options you would like. For our purposes here, we will select to print the forms. We will see another overview of the complete e-filing service. And finally, before the forms are generated, we will see a review of the forms that are about to be produced. Clicking Next will bring up the Atrix Forms Viewer, where we will be able to review and print the forms. With each form, we will need to select Print Final, 
where we will see a prompt to ensure the correct paper is in the printer. We'll click OK, which will bring up our print dialog box where we can select the printer and make any page alignment adjustments if needed. Once the form is printed, we can click Next Step to bring up the next form. With each form, we will repeat the process of printing using the Print Final button. Once all of the forms are printed, we will be presented with the 1099 history file options where we can choose from the available actions or close the window. And at that point, your 1099 processing is complete.